in this video i'm going to share with you the second part in this five part video series on what you need to do if you want to be able to deal with bad habits if you don't know me by now my name is steve boylan and i help people to lose weight without deprivation diets diet pills supplements or intense workouts so in yesterday's video i encourage you to make a list of all of your bad habits and if you're struggling to identify what your bad habits are then don't forget you can request my free checklist which gives you 14 really good habits and basically your bad habits will be the opposite to them really good habits so if you've not already requested that you can comment below this video or you can basically inbox me and i will get that to you as soon as possible so in this video in particular i'm going to share with you how you can become a master at dealing with bad eating habits so what are bad eating habits well like i said yesterday you make a list of them first of all but bad eating habits are anything that you're doing that is basically not helping you to achieve your weight loss goals so for example if you're somebody who wolves the food down i know i was who constantly eats really really fast then that's not giving you time for your brain to register that you've eaten therefore you're more likely to want to eat more and i know when i don't eat slowly that's what tends to happen to me so that replacing that bad habit of eating fast with a really good habit of eating slow would be a really good way so i asked you to make that list yesterday for a very important reason now that you've got your list of all of your really bad habits what you've got to do is you've got to look and think which one out of them bad habits will be the easiest for me to deal with which one of them bad eating habits will be the easiest for me to deal with and then what you want to do is you want to make a committed decision that you're going to replace that bad habit with a really good habit so basically if you say i'm not going to drink fizzy pop no more replace it by drinking water because we can't just stop something we have to replace it with another alternative that way if you do it and you just focus on that one thing for the next week then that will really help you in becoming a master at breaking bad habits but once you say you're going to do something you've got to stick at it and the reason why is because we have a what we call a mental faculty up here called your will it's your willpower and your willpower is either really strong or really weak but you've got to commit to doing things in order to become a master at breaking bad habits any bad habits not just eating bad habits but if you work very slowly through your list over the course of the next month or and beyond then you will become a master at breaking bad habits and i'm somebody who's dealt with smoke who's quit smoking drinking taking drugs and i've dealt with all my own bad eating habits still got a few <laughs> but I've dealt with many of them. And I've done that really over the last 15 years. So I'm pretty good when it comes to dealing with bad habits. So get good at picking one, working on that, and making that become another good habit. And that's all you need to do. But here we are again, it is day number 70 in this 90 day challenge i encourage you to get up get motivated and get out and do something really good for your health and well-being today whether that's walking running cycling exercise in the house it doesn't matter just do something for yourself today and i love you lovely people and i'll see you back tomorrow for part number three of what you need to do when it comes to dealing with bad habits so thank you and i'll see you tomorrow thank you and goodbye